Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEB Sovi School. I am Ashish Vishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Adil English Fashion School, Bonding Ship. Today, I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So, my dear students, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 48 of half yearly examination. And uh, today's topic name is chapter 11A, CBQ 1 and 2, as your CW. And from this chapter, CBQ 1 and 2 is efficient for your and uh, half yearly examination. So, you just solve only this two CBQ from this chapter. Okay. So, CBQ number 1 and CBQ number 2 will be solved as your class and there is no SW today. So, I have already written these two problem on the board. Okay. So, at first we read question number 1. Lodiv went to market and bought 3.5 kg of rice, 8 hectogram of vegetables and 2400 gram of meat. His neighbor Korim went to a market and bought 40 hectogram of rice and 800 gram of meat. A number question, what is the total amount of rice? and meat that Loti bought. B number question express the amount of meat that buy both of them in hectogram. C number question who bought more rice and how much more did he buy. My dear student the name of the chapter is measurement. The name of the chapter is measurement. In order to solving this problem this chart is very necessary for you to learn. Okay. Kilo, hecto, deca, then a box, in box, meter, liter, gram, deci, centi, milli. Dear student, it is very, very important for you. Okay. Kilo, hecto, deca, meter, liter, gram, deci, centi, Milli. My dear student, for me measurement of distance, we use meter. For measurement of liquid, we use uh, liter. For measurement of uh, for measurement of weight, we use gram. Okay. So one kilogram equal to how many gram? One kilogram equal to how many gram? How can we find? For this one, I write here one. After one and in order to going five, how many? How many steps are there? One, two, three. So we write three zero. So one kilogram equal to one thousand gram. Just like one kiloliter equal to one thousand liter. One kilogram equal to one thousand gram. 1 kilometer equal to 1000 meter. Similar as if I want to know 1 kilogram equal to how many milligram. I repeat 1 kilogram equal to how many milligram. Please notice the board. For this one I write here 1. 1 kilogram. Then how many step? 1, 2. This is 1 step. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We write 6, 0. 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0 gram that means 1 kilogram equal to 1 then 6 0 gram again 1 hectogram if I ask 1 hectogram equal to how many gram then it will be 1 2 so 1 and 1 2 to a step for this reason I write here 2 0 gram okay it is very very important for you now please memorize with me Kilo hecto deca, meter liter gram, deci centi milli. Kilo hecto deca, meter liter gram, deci centi milli. We use one unit from this box. If distance, then meter. If liquid, then liter. If weight, then gram. I hope you have understood. Now, we shall solve question number one by using this chart. I write the chart above of the board. Kilo hecto deca here meter liter gram deci centi milli okay now a number question 
what is the total amount of rice and meat that Lotip bought? My dear student, please notice Lotip bought 3.5 kg rice and 2400 gram of meat. My dear student, please notice here kg, here gram. Both unit are different. In uh, when we want to add two number, then we make sure that the unit will be same. Okay, so here kg and gram so we convert both unit in a unit here kg and gram now we convert this gram into kg after that we add the amount of rice and the amount of meat then we get the total amount of rice and meat of loti pot okay now write a number question given that Lotif bought 3.5 kg of rice and he bought 2400 gram of meat. My dear student, now we convert this 2400 gram into kg. So, how can please notice? 1 kg equal to how many kilogram? 1 kg that means 1 kilogram equal to how many? 1, 2, 3 that means 1000. So, we know 1000 gram equal to 1 kilogram that means we divide this 2400 by 1000 then we get kg. Okay. So, 2400 divided by 1000 then it will be kg of meat. Okay. Now we divide and we get 2.4 kg of meat. Okay. Now we rise low tip bought in total 3.5 plus 2.4 kg. That means 4 plus 5, 9, 3 plus 2, 5. This point is placed here. So, 5.9 kg. This is the answer of question number A. I hope you have understood. So, A number question done. Next, we shall solve question number B. Express the amount of meat that uh, amount of meat bought by both of them in hectogram. That means, my dear student, please notice Loti bought 2400 gram of meat and his neighbor Korim bought 800 gram of meat. Okay. So, at first we add their total amount of meat. After that we convert that gram into hectogram because the question asks you to find the answer in hectogram. So, first of all we write. B number. Lotif bought given that Lotif bought three point sorry two thousand four hundred gram of meat and Korim bought. 800 gram of meat. They bought in total 2400 plus 800 gram of meat. Now we do addition that means 0 0 we write 0 0 8 plus 4 we get 12 from 12 by right here. 2 carrying on 2 plus on 3. So, 30. 3200 gram of meat. Now, dear student, we convert this gram into hectogram. Okay. So, how can please notice 1 gram equal to how many hectogram? Sorry, 1 hectogram equal to how many gram? 1, 2. That means 100. That means 100 gram equal to 1 hectogram. So, we divide this 
3200 by 100 and we get hectogram 3200 by 100 hectogram of meat if we divide then we get 32 hectogram of meat and this is the answer B number question done. Next, we shall solve C number question. Who bought more rice and uh, how much more did he buy? Dear student, please notice. There is no unit in answer. So, we can easily keep on unit. Okay. Lotip bought 3.5 kg of rice and Korim bought 40 hectogram of rice. So, first of all, we write this. Given that... given that Lotif bought 3.5 kg of rice and Korim bought 40 hectogram of rice okay we convert this hectogram into kg first notice 1 kg equal to 10 hectogram 1 kg equal to 10 hectogram that means if we divide this 10 40 hectogram by 10 hectogram then we get kg that means 40 divided by 10 kg of rice so if we divide then we get 4 kg of rice so now we write here 4 kg greater than 3.5 kg so 4 kg is the rice of mr korim so we write korim bought 4. more rice and the more amount of rice the more amount of rice of Korim is we do subtraction that means 4 minus 3.5 kg ok so if we subtract then we get 0 0.5 kg so how please notice 4.0 and 3.5 so 5 to 10 then it will 5 so carrying on that one is added with 3 it will be 4 so 4 minus 4 0 so 0 0.5 kg is the more amount of rice of Mr. Korim and this is the answer that means it has two answer one is Korim and another is 0 0.5 kg so I hope you have understood this is the solution of question number one and this is done next you shall solve question number two CBQ number two here you notice Raju's height is 1.35 meter and his brother's height is 9.6 decimeter. A number question 1 meter equal to how many decimeter? B number how mass, uh, how mass is the height of Raju's brother in centimeter? That means the height of Raju's brother in decimeter we want to convert this decimeter into centimeter and we get the answer. C number how much is the difference in their height that means we need to find out the difference of Raju's height and his brother's height it is so easy question and we take only a few minutes for this question so number 1a a number question 1 meter equal to how many decimeter please look at the chart 1 meter equal to how many decimeter so 1 meter here we write 1 meter equal to 1 meter equal to one, how many decimeter so we notice one step we need one step for this one i write here one and one step i read here one zero so one meter equal to 10 decimeter i hope you have understood and this is the answer 10 decimeter okay number question done next b number question how much is the height of Raju's brother in centimeters? So first of all, we write given that. 
given that Raju's brother height is 9.6 decimeter we want to convert this decimeter into centimeter please notice one decimeter equal to how many centimeter 10 decimeters so we multiply 9.6 with 10 centimeter then we get 960 for this point i write here zero so centimeter so 96 centimeter and this is the answer ninety six centimeter okay next we shall solve question number c c number question how much is the difference in their height difference in their height so first of all we write given that Raju's height equal to 1.35 meter. We have already found his brother's height 9.6 decimeter which is converted to centimeter in question number B. So we also convert this meter into centimeter. So notice 1 meter equal to how many centimeter? 100. Cause 1, 2, 2 step for this reason 2 0 so 1.35 is multiplied with 100 to get it in centimeter unit so now we multiply 135 and 2 0 notice after point there are two digits so we write here point so 135 centimeter is the height of Raju now from B we get his brother height is 96 centimeter okay now the difference of their height is 135 minus 96 centimeter that means 6 to 15 it will be 9 carrying on that 10 10 to 13 it will be 3 carrying on that on and on 0 so 39 centimeter is the required difference of their two of their heights okay and this is the answer 39 centimeter right i hope you have understood my dear student this is our today's lecture you must Practice, uh, practice this to CBQ at home more and more times. Okay. See you soon. Till then. Assalamu alaikum.